Hello, welcome in Aquarian, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hello, babies. Hi. Welcome, 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 sweetheart. We're here for many reasons with you. We're here to give you truth for the rest of October as much as I can. I'll probably interject a reading or two between now and the end of October because I've been trying to stay regular, but the system is, um, with all the retrogrades and everything, it's almost impossible to do these uploads. And then being under spiritual attack at the same time, what kind of shit is that? And it's a fact. I mean, it happens to most of us. If you're here on my channel, you were intended to be here. Thank you so much. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're going to look at the energies around you. What's for you. What's working against you. What you need to know. Who your guides are. What they'd like to tell you. And what moves to make next to protect your sacred energy. As above, so below, anything unholy has got to go. So here's the thing, my darlings. Anyone who orders my spiritual bath products or any of my sprays, Aquarius, these are, de these are designed um, with Reiki healing on them so that when you use them, they're double portioned positive energy to protect you. This one is for clearing black magic and spells. Double sea salt sweetgrass, sage, and other ingredients that are awesome. Um, this has tourmaline. Once you purchase this bottle, you'll love this too. I love this smell. But once you purchase this, simply contact me. Any of these. Attract Love Naturally, Rose Quartz. Oh my God, it's so delicious. And very, very elegant. These are elegant. They're powerful. This is the Sacred Holy Oil. I guess this one got spilled on. This is sacred holy oil. It's an anointing oil in a bottle. It's beautiful. And they're selling like crazy. Let me get some in your hands. I'm sure most of you can afford 1111. <laughs> which will also bless you just doing that. You contact me once you've purchased it and it gets low. Send me $5. I'll just mail it right out to you. All right. A little refill. You simply fill this bottle in there. And you add water fresh high pH water because you'll be spraying this on your hands you can spray this on furniture if you want not closely missed it to to do an anointing and a prayer and 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 to keep you in a sacred energy so that all this shit can't come and bother you now many of us know we're very aware of the the timeline that we're in we're aware that the spiritual energies are not normal and we're on high alert hello love you thank you for being here by all means please hit the like button i appreciate that it keeps my channel going and um oops okay and uh helps people to discover what's going on over here give me a moment get my lights on because i love the entertainment of the lights it just raises my vibration okay there we go okay Aquarius I know you guys like things like that you love things that are um, fair and fun and make sense right you don't like things that don't make sense it's not right so we've anointed and uh, done your blessing here so Archangels come in and help me to read for my beautiful Aquarians for the rest of October Calling divine light, calling in divine energies only, rebuking any energies that would cause any harm, intervention, inter interference with the messages. Also calling in Gabriel to speak clearly. Send love to the people that watch this video in an incredible, incredible love. Uriel, we need your presence on the planet even more than ever. Those who are crying out for strength and are, are chosen but are under feeling defeat, bring them back. Empower them. Rebuke the enemies around them and cast them off. That divine person. And Raphael, come in and heal our hearts. Let me just say this. I was going to do the Reiki prayer, but I think you guys needed something special. The first card I'm going to pull from you, beautifuls, is what is going on in the Aquarian collective super conscious what's going on in the within we're going to go within first and then we're going to go without 
All right. Holy Spirit, guide me through this reading for my Aquarian, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tap me in. They tapped me in real early today. Healing. Many of you are learning about healing, practicing healing, healing. Look at she's got fire between her hands. Sorry about my nails. They look like shit. And by the way, I love the glow for your reading because you guys are amethyst. Okay. And you're in my house of healing. You guys are from me. You're healing. I love you. Please, please, please. Give me some love. Like, subscribe, share, donate. Um, get something off my wish list. Something, anything. I love you. Let me, let's feed this connection between us so that I can continue to tap into what you need. Many of you, this is a tower. Many of you, I'm not a tower, but a paradigm shift. You're starting to realize that something that hurts you has brought you into a place where you almost have no choice but to heal and go forward. Something's happened. We're going to find out what it is. Why you're in the healing state. Bear with me a second while I move some things here. Okay. Why is Aquarius showing up as a collective with uh, healing? They're either doing healing, getting healing, or watching someone get healed. Right? Holy Spirit, show me. I'm going to do something here sacred protection no weapon formed against me shall prosper or my channel and yes youtube will open me up they've been shadow banning my channel and uh, when people go to uh find me my messages um sometimes my messages don't show up because i think youtube messes with us to be honest with you i really do they call it shadow banning but they i am under adsense and i am under a sacred contract with them I say sacred contract because your word is, you know, you can be trusted. But I'm telling you the truth that uh, these things are happening. Be aware. It hurts. But that's not everything. Right now we're talking about love, romance, and healing. Aquarius, someone rising in Venus. Energies around you. You're on this journey now. This is uh, with another soul. You're not alone. Okay. You're on the bridge. You're on a bridge. And we'll take a look at this journey for you in a second. Okay. Tell me more about Aquarian's journey and energies around them. Cornucopia. Your healing is going to produce incredible fruit. Take a look at this. Healing either from or going to a divine union. To 11. Master number 11. Cornucopia. Um, a portal is open for you, um, which is going to bring you massive, massive abundance after this healing session you're going through, after this healing um, that you're going through, whatever that is. Whatever that is, if this relates to you, take it. If it doesn't, don't. This can play across anybody's um, perspective, anybody's position, and uh, genders are not specific here. Love is specific. Uh, hate is specific. Um, vampiring is specific. Healing, loving, faithfulness, those are specific. You also have the angel Raphael healing your heart through this journey, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's what it is. Accept the green heart. Accept the beautiful healing. You have to feel it to heal it. Feel it to heal it. Is that what they say? I questioned that this morning when I woke up and Spirit said that. I said, well, it sounds so corny to say that. And it's some, some circumstances, many people hesitated to feel the truth. They didn't feel it. They were feeling all the other things. Um, but there's something going on where there's incredible healing. Archangel Raphael to show up, right? Wow. Okay, so my beautifuls. Let's take a look. Who are your guides? I'm also going to do a... a Celtic cross reading with my Lenormans, yeah, and then I'm going to explain who's in your life, what's in your life, at least from the general perspective, and then um, who's coming to you with love, and who the hell is your haters. Now, uh, all my Patreon members will be getting the, this is a special month, I decided it's my birthday month, and um, I decided to do a real quick little extended in my opinion, you can purchase it for $4 just by sending me an email. Tell me which one you want. 
<clears throat> or donating four dollars to one of my chat uh one of my bank my payment methods that's in the box below beautifuls may you be encouraged through this journey tell me about aquarius as masters who is mastering over who's guiding my aquarians yep i know it saint germain is working with um archangel raphael on your journey to help you transmute there you go there's that violet flame which is absolutely um significant for aquarians even looks like an aquarian to me saint germain comes in to help you do some inner and outer healing and work your magic so that you can continue on with your journey you're being guided uh in the spirit realm again violet energy the teacher Raka. Um, Mahakash, Maha, Kohan, Mahakaha, Rakaksni. Um, not even an uh, ancient healer, more of a within the last recent timeline, not too long back. This person, this is the spiritual energy of this journey, of this learning lesson for you, and it's all about your heart. Okay? So it's about your heart. You have retreat into nature now. You're on a journey. Some of you need to go. You'll find your soul, you'll find your recompense, you'll find your healing in the journey. I just heard somebody's going to um, do um, Sapo, Cambo, or um, Ayahuasca and be healed. They've got someone who's going to help them to, to protect them during the, this particular healing process. And they're going to listen to their guides. They're going to listen to what brings what is absolutely their truth, nothing less, nothing more. And you're going to cut out fears and you're going to cut out pain and your body's going to heal. That's what I declare for you. Whoever you are, whatever you're going through. And if some of you are having a surgery, you're going to be healed and you're being watched after Archangel Raphael. All right. That's what I have. And you've got a cornucopia here. You've got 11 on the beginning and 11 on the end and then journey, journey and change we have um, releasing an ex you have to it's about energy it isn't about romance love and all that if they're not good for you they're not good for you so you've got to clear your energy whatever you're doing okay here we go loves let's take a look aquarius someone rising venus let's see what your celtic cross shows you this month i apologize that i didn't get these out earlier i've been through hell that's okay I'm good. I'm still here. I love you. Nothing changes. I, my timelines change because I have to. I'm a, I'm a kind of an energy master. I have to work with what I have. Oh, there you are. You showed up for yourself. There's your star, Aquarius. You are healing. You are a teacher. You are a healer. Some of you are going to be the ones that are going to work your magic in uh, nature. You're going to bless people and you're going to have freedom from all this shit that's bothering you. Good. Why? Because you're being divinely guided. This is what's crossing you. You're being divinely guided to do this. Pay attention to the details. Okay. And listen closely to your guides. Aquarius. Um, what have they dealt with for the longest time? I will be using tarot to clarify these two. What has Aquarius been dealing with? What the hell? In love. Death. Change. Transformation. Go worrying about things that you cannot fix, um, anxious about the outcome of something, or people not telling you the truth. Also, possibly working with a Scorpio that caused you to have a shock and awe moment. Um, whether that be good or bad, I think it wasn't good because there's tears, tears coming out of your eyes. Right? All right, my lord. Help me to read for my Aquarians. What is this? I feel like this reading for you. Oh, God. Go away. Just go away. That's what I get. What are you working on now, Aquas? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Divine Masculine. Doesn't matter what your um, orientation is. This is beautiful energy. This is someone who is absolutely stunning absolutely stunning this is a divine masculine in his upright 
and this is love. New love. New love for aquas. A masculine in your life, or you are turning into this divine being that has something to offer the world that cannot be replaced, that cannot be replicated, and only comes from the divine. Only. It is the most positive healing message you could possibly offer someone. Blessings to you. And my table is full of blessings from my Aquarians. Keep it up, darling. Send me gifts. I love you. The higher mind is this. I was going to pull one. They gave me four. You're at this place where you're starting to integrate different thoughts. You are connecting with ancestors and guides. You're talking at this. This is like the prayer place deep within. Talking to the divine about love and the choices you have to make. You are concerned about this ending. You've known this person a long time. You've known a lot about them. You're going to miss them. It's on your mind. You're talking to God about it, okay? And uh, maybe at night, right? Your mind. It could also be a Pisces um, that you have on your mind. But this is about the shift. Here you go, eight. You see? So this is really about the shift. Your mind was, why the hell did that have to happen? But you're going to be revealed in your dream state and in the psychic spaces um, that you are actually planning your future spiritually as we speak. Okay? Be very cautious as to what comes out of your mouth your intentions, and your focus. Stay right here. I'm going to be pure, open, um, so, uh, self-sufficient. I got, I'm going to take care of my home, my family, and I got something to offer. I got nothing to hide. Future is that of prayer. Staying in a prayerful state. Again, you're at five. My God. Your, your reading's full of fives and elevens. Interesting. Um, your future is that of containing, well, this came out in your higher mind too. So many of you are at the tree of life and you are retreating to nature and you are taking care of business and your guides are helping you through this path to become the better person for someone else and to stand in your glory as a godly type of person that deserves love. See, and the messages are coming in from the divine. Look at that. Abundance is coming in. Whatever you want to know, ask, you shall receive. Knock, it shall be opened. Be careful what you ask. All right? But be clear about what you ask, Spirit, because they like specific questions. Yeah, you're being seen as somebody going through this. Yeah. For the most part, there's your eight again. There's your eight again. So Jesus is with you because Jesus' number, the Christ, is eight, eight, eight. You're going through a new transformation. You're going over. Some of you have had a hard time. You're like, shit, this is terrible. I feel like I've been climbing up this horrible mountain. And I'm this little deer. And what the hell is that? And you're in nature. Watch out, though. Holy Spirit says that if you go to nature in the future, be very, very cautious that you have um, ham radio or something. Uh, if you're up in the mountains or something, right, is what I'm hearing. Be sure that you have some way to communicate with people if you're up here. But this is you being verified that people see you going through this journey. They know, honeys. Let me see what is your environment for my Aquarians in the rest of October, please, Holy Spirit. And since it's my birthday month, I will put out probably one more solid reading before the end of the month. And then I'm taking the last week off to go celebrate with my grandkids and do some things. None of y'all be, isn't this? Unless you want to come with. Love you. Energies for Aqua. Going over the bridge. The bridge is here, Archangel Raphael. Look at this. Three and eight. Oh, shit. I've never seen this in, in exactly. Three, of course, is the new contracts that you're making. Signing. The new deals that you're doing. Mm -hmm. With your destiny. Eight is destiny. Okay. Destiny is changing. You're on a journey. You're about to go into cornucopia. This is cornucopia too. And this is getting a bridge from the divine from one terrible situation to a better one. And there's actually quite a... This is quite beautiful. This card always reminds me of Rivendell and Lord of the Rings. Um, you're given this opportunity. That's your environment. God provides a bridge for you to get over whatever this is and heal. 
What is their biggest concern, please? My Aquarian, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are they worried about more than anything besides releasing an ex? What is it? Please, Holy Spirit, show me this one. You're worried about whether you're going to get a commitment in the future. Um, if this is a good commitment for you to to undertake, yeah, you're being spiritually strong. You're worried. You know, you're worried about this ending. Am I strong enough to start a new relationship or end the one I'm in? Right. We'll clarify that with Tarot. I'll come for my beautifuls as far as you can see. The Norman's guides. Aquas. Oh, snap. Okay. But watch out. The, the outcome is good. You get a brand new chance. This is starting over. Of course, 21, 3, a brand new start. You're passionate. Wherever your passions are, you have the vehicle to move forward now. And it is through other people. It is through the community. It uh, Rainbow community are those that will take you into ceremonies. Correct? From my understanding, yes. So be very careful that this is not a fantasy ride, that you're being honest and that someone around you is being honest. Why do they have someone showing up in a false face? Somebody may take a chance on new love and they're not honest. Tell me about this person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, there's that 11. This person... Um, isn't honest with you at this time. Be very careful. Um, this is a person. Here's what I see. The Jack of Clubs reminds me of the Knight of, Wa Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is someone who starts something passion-oriented. You take a chance on them because you're passionate for them. You throw the dice and go, oh, well. But that's master number 11. 19, 11, 12. That's 12. The opposite of 21. There, there's been a hangman situation and you're moving on. This is, a dis this is someone who's not telling everything. They're, they're like, I'm going to show you the best side of me, but I'm not going to show you the hidden stuff. Well, here's your hidden stuff. Anger. Outburst. Coming in. Leaving. Let's talk about that. Uh, that bothers me. Tell me about that person. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That person calling in your soulmate. So you're being warned that in the future you may go back with a twin flame or a soulmate that is not healed. They're not healed. You're dying to heal. You're working the work. They have to do the work too. Because if not, you're going to find yourself in a battle trying to help them to heal. You believe they're your soulmate. You want this brand new start, right? Brand new start. You're going to take a chance again. But you know damn well they're not healed. Guess what you're going to get? You're going to get back and forth, arguments, passion. Oh, Lord. Let's see where we at in our timeline. I can't see the time. Hmm. Let's go. Let's clarify a couple of these. And then we're going to take it into an extended. And you can order that. But if you're a Patreon member, I just, I just gave away four readings and a gift last night. We had a lot of fun. If you're a Patreon member for any donation to support me and my work, you keep me going. Um, you get in our free readings and gifts. Oh my gosh. I love to do that. I, um, all right, let's see. Join me. Support me. Love you. Here we go. I would like clarity on what the heck is going on in their mind. Movement. Travel. You want something to move. You want to get things done. Could be a cancer. The moon card's there. Many of you are dealing with a cancer. You're praying for them. But can I say something? They're toxic. They're toxic. They put you in a third party. Somebody. There's a third party energy here. And it's painful. And you freaking know it. Even though you're sitting in this beautiful energy. And you know that it's safe for you to love. Um, to open up your heart. You're still having an issue with it because of this. Because someone hurt you? It's on your mind. Tell me more about that pain. Who is that? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Could be a Sagittarius as well. That bothered you, Aquarian. That just didn't work with you well. There's temperance here, though. I think you've mastered the temperance. That's what this is. 
these are pure mastering of temperance even though you lost someone it could be a cancer right they they put you in a third party they there was you you think about this deceit too okay and then you have this you're being extremely patient you're taking time to heal at the well drink and drink of my cup and you'll never be thirsty again the lord said this is the tree of life this is where you're doing it this is your life you're manifesting um, an understanding but you must be patient you're going to call somebody in you want to ask the divine for the right one and you also want to ask the divine for protection and spiritual strength so any commitment that comes your way any offer that comes your way for a relationship or a commitment past present or future is divinely blessed so you don't have to go through this shit constantly it's hard on you you deserve better here we go. Tell me a little bit more about the character of this person. Hey, shit. Hello. This person's walked away from you before. They're calling you. Oh, they just showed me that. They're calling you, even though they walked away passionately going in another direction. Like that. Hold on. It's a knight of, sword, knight of coins as well. It's... um. Someone who gave you very little but had a lot to offer but gave it to someone else. There's a squirrel up there. This was something you waited and waited and waited for. But then they come in and they're like temperamental. They have it, but they don't commit to you. This is usually a commitment card. That, that person, though, yeah, they're the world card, 21 healing. They're the one you're healing from. Yep, they had a bad temper. They hurt you. They brought in a third party. They broke your heart. You're done. Who's coming forward for my beautifuls in love? We'll get we'll get three cards on that, and then I'll I will go in and take a look on your extended on who's doing magic on you or negative energy. What are the guides further messages, and who's coming to you with this pure divine commitment? You don't have to guard yourself. You don't have to be cold to. You don't have to be. Oh shit! Look! Oh my god! I said shit, and I mean it's not shit. It's fabulous. Aquas, you have a soulmate, a, a, someone who sees you eye to eye, understands you. It could be a Pisces. It could be a Pisces. Um, that could also be a Pisces that you dealt with, bad temper, or did something, or came in and out, didn't. Yeah, you're on a, this, um, this person here represents a brand new start. This could be Aries as well, or Taurus. But this is a brand new start. This is someone who took a chance in your life or will take a chance in your life that must be what the dice were about let's see ah uh, do you know that this person is spying on you they're watching you at this moment what are they watching let's see wow your new start huh they're spying because you won't talk to them yep you turned your heart away from this one they hurt you queen of cups in reverse they pull back their love and they're spying and you're getting a brand new start. You're, this is what's coming to you. Brand new start. Two of Cups, the full zero point energy. After you do your healing work, it's all new and it's all the way you want it. Here it is. How are you doing? How you doing? You want this new love? Oh, la, la. It's coming. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah. Give me one kind of hint on the haters. Give me a hint on haters, please. Hint on haters for Aquarius in October. Besides, you guys are fucking beautiful. I love you so much. Your souls are so immense. Haters. One, two, three. Could be family, friends, neighbors. Could be old lovers. It could be um, jealous, carms. Who knows? Okay, people that are hating on you are, okay, anybody that's hating on you, Aquarius, it's because you're, you're doing well by yourself now, and you're, you're, you may be put into a single position, and this is where you're making abundance for yourself, you're building up your reputation, you're learning about love and how, where to find safety. Uh, it's safe for you to love because you're talking to God, and you've been hurt, but you have new love coming. Okay, your powerful strength and you're making money 
you're you're protecting your body right your dignity you're spiritually connected you're also being guided by the divine by other energies 44 is like angels guide spirit guides there she is holding her guides all through this healing journey so this is you and they're envious um because you're holding back your energy right now until you find the right one or the right blessing in your life whatever this is this is holding back a, um, my energy to commit or money no you don't come in and take what's mine i'm building and no i'm in the saving process right now you can't have it you can't have my energy and you cannot have my love without my permission you have someone here that doesn't want to see you get a victory yep and they're restless about it too. Oh yeah, they can't seem to get any peace of mind. Oops, there's your identity. Gemini, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an earth sign. But I see Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag, and a water sign. These are haters. This woman, or this energy, this female energy, when you have these energies in reverse, not only is she not victorious, she doesn't have any rest, for the soul no rest for the wicked i hear and she's not in peace of mind your energy victory and peace of mind six six four this queen could be doing negative work in the background and yeah not very smart about it either when you have the the wisdom in reverse death cancer scorpio scorpio you want to look farther into it let's see one more oh shit look at this could be the one express your love engagement wedding getting to know each other wow separation from that one they're just popping out so they want you to stay optimistic right now stay optimistic this, this journey you're on is not bad at all you're um let your friends help you oh my god and be playful wow go into nature there it is retreat to nature you're going to be attracting a new relationship. This one could be a past life relationship, but your romantic feelings will attract the new person. And you've got to be powerful because if someone you were with hurt you with a third party, you've got to build yourself back up again. You do not let them back in because they can do it again. It's habitual. People are like animals. They learn behavior patterns, right, Aquas? So we're going to look into your extended and we're going to get some more information. We're going to sneak peek. So far, what? Lots of good stuff. Thank you for being here. By all means, hit the like button. If you're here for the first time, my darlings, please hit the subscribe and the all bell. And keep an eye on it if you like my work. Because um, it seems to me like notifications fall off and then you lose my work. And I'm right here for you doing ministry work. I love you so. Contact me. Purchase my auric feel, auric reset, or break black magic and spells. Or if you're in this stage where you're attracting this, contact me. Attract love naturally. This smells so good. It's full of lang lang and um, a very, very attractive scents. All right, guys. Love you. Thank you. Namaste.